I got this uh, Polar watch, um, which is pretty nice. I'm not sure which model is it, um, but um, basically uh, what's uh, special with Polar brand is that uh, when the battery goes off, um, when the battery dies, is just that Polar says, send me the watch, send the watch to the company to replace the battery. Otherwise, they will just void the warranty. Um, I think it's pretty ridiculous. Uh, I don't think it's so much uh, difficult to replace the battery in this one. So let's just try to do it. And um, um, for this one, though, it seems like Polar Switch, they, they, weren't, uh, they weren't happy uh, using those uh, regular uh, Phillips uh, screws. They switched to kind of a Torx screw in there. So it's really uh, a star thing. And uh, you just cannot use a flat or a Phillips screwdriver on this. Uh, forget it. Uh, it's just too tight and will skip and it's just rounding the screw there. So uh, get maybe off eBay a set of these um, tiny Allen uh, screwdrivers. Uh, make sure it's a small one. I'm sure the size on this one looks like almost one millimeter here, but uh, get a set and make sure you have a small one in there. Um, let's start try to do this um, again they are pretty pretty tight in there um, uh, just don't don't try with anything else but the, the uh, screwdriver that really fits in there so basically yeah the uh, most of the time you you buy this for nothing because people just the battery dies on them and people just uh, they don't want to send them to Polar because it costs shipping, it costs replacing the battery. It's just doesn't really make sense. Actually, it's nothing special about these watches. I don't know why Polar makes thing, things differently, but um, yeah, this is how it is. So now the uh, I did remove those screws. I just want to show you something about this other one. Uh, these are all the models anyhow. So. Uh, notice that when you undo this, try to undo this cover, you remove all four screws. Uh, the band is kind of covering the cover here, it's just overlapping it on both sides. So, on this particular one, I had to use uh, do I have something like that? Yeah, I think something like this. I have to use a um, very something very thin but strong and to push the pin and to remove the. The band but only on one side once i removed on one side i could slid the cover the, the other one i didn't touch i could slid the cover off uh, this other model doesn't look to be the same so let's just try to undo the band the cover it's okay it has kind of a trim on it I just try to go gently. It looks like there's tabs in there. There's a tab, a uh, small, uh, small bump in there. Let's just try to go gently. It does look like there's a small bumps, one there and one there, but this one kind of broke. I don't think it's a big deal. Uh, just remember which way you put it in place. And now let's just take the cover off. Again, these are older models, so um, yeah, your newer model may differ. Okay, so this is the cover. It's good to remember which uh, which way it goes, um, the orientation of the cover. Uh, also good, perhaps, to clean it a little bit. And uh, you you may notice there is a rubber seal around here. Uh, this is what seals the watch. Um, and just point it properly. So this is the rubber seal, it stays in there. Uh, just make sure you, you don't put anything, uh, uh, any kind of dust or dirt on it and uh, it should be fine. I don't think it's going to be a problem. Okay, this is the thing. Again, it's good to remember which way it goes. So this is how, this is the top of the watch. So this thing will go to the top of the watch. Uh, yeah, it's the same mechanism um that keeps in place the battery and also notice the battery is the 2025 so it's the thin one right so this is a little bit less common 
uh, don't confuse with 32. 32 is way too thick, it's not going to fit in there. Uh, so make sure I get the right uh, number for the battery. Um, it's 25 anyhow. Um, yeah, it's the same, pretty same thing as the uh, the other watch. Uh, this kind of hooking there. So basically, uh, this cover, metal cover, um, it's uh, just inserted here. Then it's pressed down and it hooks on the other side. Um, I can say that I have quite a bit of trouble unhooking it. And also putting back in place and hooking back, hooking it back in place. Um, first, also remember which side goes the first part that's inserted. So it goes onto this lower left corner. We are going to insert it there first, and then the hooking thing goes on the right upper corner. The the parts are different on this side. Uh, notice, perhaps make a picture, take a picture how this. Uh, small cover seats because it's not symmetrical so you need to put it exactly the same way uh, let's just try to go for that side i have a flat screwdriver somewhere I'll just pull it and this is going to be a very thin one it's it's so tiny actually it's not easy to understand how it sits in there but let's oh i think also you need to keep it in place because it may jump so you don't want to lose it so I'm going just to press from this side on this tiny tab here, if I remember well. Yeah, I think that's the, the way it goes. Um, it's just... Uh... Uh, by the way, you don't want to touch on the display uh, with your finger, so you don't... Uh, um, doesn't look dirty afterwards. So yeah, it's it's a bit like I said the, the mechanism. You see, this is the per first part that you get in there, and it hooks in there somewhere, and then you have to press this guy down. But I remember I just uh, let me just focus the camera a little bit. I remember just having trouble putting that back in place and hooking it back in place because it kind of. You notice how it has a hole in there and has to hook the battery uh, the uh, to attach to something uh, inside this hole but it's so tiny you cannot see it properly so let's just uh, remove the battery from now the old battery uh the used uh, panasonic that's the genuine one mine is not panasonic it's just from my um, dollar store basically i can find it online uh, if you want to buy from eBay, maybe if I don't forget, I'll, I'll put a, uh, a link for a... It's better to use actually um, a good brand. Um, yeah, uh, I'm not giving the right, the good example here, but it's better to get, um, I would say, the Duracell, Panasonic or uh, Energizer. This will be the one, the, the type of batteries that, that will just last longer, so you don't have to repeat this process uh, all the time. Um, so this is the old battery notice again the thickness of these batteries it's um, let me just compare so this is the old one um, I just don't want to confuse so that's the thickness difference between CR 2025 and CR 2032 that's why you cannot use 32 in there so that's the old one discard um, I didn't uh, mention it, but uh, remember which polarity has. So when I did remove the battery, it was the writing on the top. Uh, pretty important to remember that thing. Just drop the battery in there, doesn't matter which uh, rotation. And uh, let's just try to hook this thing back in place. Like I said, the first part that goes in there, it's on the left lower corner. Um, if I think, kind of, I just kind of inserted there somewhere uh, again it's not easy to see it's not easy to um, figure out how it's attached in there really so go by feeling somehow and make sure it's attached somewhere in there this is perhaps why uh, polar uh, wants uh, you also one of the reason wants you to send them the body so again it kind of attaches there just try it uh, several positions until you feel it did grab and then whoops it didn't 
think it's grabbing something and I don't know exactly so now once you position it it sit the battery sits flat flat uh, try to press this thing down on the other side and uh, I was lucky uh, on the other watch it didn't grab I had to work it around around with the screwdriver pressing downwards maybe so if it doesn't catch first time just try to press it here somewhere not too strong you don't want to damage the, uh, the control board but uh, the electronic board but just press downwards and you notice it did catch there on mine uh, I think you need to um, place this back inside the watch to make it um, uh, work again so let's just uh, position the thing again make sure you don't really touch that screen so you don't put any dirt on it uh, so let's just uh, oh there's a small spring here I guess that's for the contact with the uh, uh, the sound uh, sound part the uh, speaker so to speak um, so um, yeah careful with this spring so you don't uh, pull it from there uh, this thing kind of kind of doesn't really get in there too much it kind of sits a little bit stands out a little bit so um, at least this model it kind of I don't I don't get a feeling how to sit it in there properly but I guess this is how it goes all right so um that's the top of the watch so I'm going to place this like that and also you just want to match that spring with the uh, speaker so you notice the spring already put kind of a mark on the speaker so I'll make sure you match it kind of uh, a little bit more difficult for me because I have the camera right in front of me so um, um, I need to um, work a little bit in a position that's a bit different so yeah it kind of inserts into the um, into the band kind of cannot just drop it it kind of slides into the band a little bit and on the other side as well okay so let's just stretch the band a little bit okay so kind of drops uh, just maybe press it downwards or just pull the bands a little bit and press downwards so it it's it drops flush with the watch make sure it's uh, um, it's it's all the way closed now this small again it had two small bumps one is broken I don't know. let's just see if it's inserted in there somewhere Those bumps are really weird. They look kind of like pins. Okay, I don't think it's a big, big problem if you break them, but it's better not to. It's always. It's kind of uh, polar watches are kind of uh, different than other watches. It's not just because it's a sports watch, but uh, because they just kind of engineer things a little bit differently they just have a different vision i guess so i'm trying to fit that small bump in there but uh, i can say that it doesn't really look like it wants to go and it's is there a place for it okay let me just look again closely Yeah, it looks like there is a tiny hole there, right there in the middle of the band. You can see it, perhaps. It's that hole right there with my fingernails point. Um, I'm going to press on the metal part and try to fit that thing, but uh, it's more or less on this. I guess, my guess is they, they would actually remove the band um to get that bump into the place i'm not sure why they put that small bump in there it's really just too um i, I don't see the point with it um i wouldn't be afraid to break it actually uh, let's just try one more time and then maybe i'll try to Yeah, it's kind of weird, kind of weird, honestly. You may just break it off, but because I'm doing a video and I just, 
I'm supposed to do the things by the book. Uh, let me just get that. Okay, so um, I, I'm not sure what these bumps are for. Honestly, I don't think they uh, they uh, help in any way to uh, get the watch more uh, waterproof. Uh, by the way, this one it's 30 meter depth, and this one doesn't have this plastic rim, and it's 50 meter depth. So honestly, and it, the cover is just the same. So this is I don't care it. Um, so let's just uh, I'm going to break this thing here. It doesn't matter for. Uh, that bumps uh, because otherwise you I think it most probably you have to remove the band to install this thing back in place so it's just too much uh, I think they uh, they may be thinking too much uh, about details here again I do not believe that will really influence in any way uh, the waterproofness of the uh, watch uh, okay let's just get this thing back there so that's the cover, press it down. So it kind of slides in there. Uh, you need to uh, stretch a little bit the band and just uh, press with the finger at each corner. Don't press in the middle so you don't crack that uh, plastic piece. Uh, so insert it nicely deep there. And uh, at this point, I guess we can just uh, uh, tighten back those uh, torx screws how tight um, good question um, you see it did stop turning and maybe I will just just force a little bit but again don't overthink about this uh, don't overforce it's not a, uh, a uh, big uh, thing uh, it's just plastic so that's it tight but don't force too much make sure you don't uh, cross thread the screw so if it doesn't go easy in there uh, just uh, um, go back and screw it again So if you feel like it goes, doesn't go right, make sure you, you undo it and then just screw it, but make sure you get it straight into that hole, not on the side, because the plastic may just cross thread. All right, so it's pretty tight now. Uh, let's see what's happening. Uh, the, 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 the way to work with this watch is it's pretty, pretty weird actually. Um, uh, maybe uh, if I can find it, you need to just search online for the model uh, and uh, search for PDF. Uh, do a Google search and put PDF in the model, uh, you can say model manual PDF or something like this. Um, uh, the way to adjust them and the way to scroll through the menus is just by one single button. So if you don't read that book, you won't perhaps figure out how this uh, 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 need to be uh, set and uh, how to uh, how to adjust them and how to use them basically again this doesn't have a, usually will have just a accessory something uh, that you wrap on your body to get the uh, uh, heart uh, rate or stuff like that but it doesn't have it you just use it as a watch um, I think if, when you switch you need to Keep it down, yeah. I, I, I don't. I, I will put perhaps in the uh, comments of the video. Uh, I will put a link for the uh, if I find the PDF um, uh, instructions for this uh, special uh, particular model. But this is how it goes. Uh, it's pretty much long video, um, uh, but uh, I just wanted to show all details. Um, these are fun watches, actually. I think they are. The, the construction is pretty solid. You did notice the all uh, the. Um, the electronic and mechanical part inside um, the, that really shows quality in the build and the watch itself the band it's really strongly made is not a cheap watch in any ways uh, also it's pretty accurate uh, so you can just basically uh, got this for six bucks um, 
because people basically troll them when uh, the battery goes bad, um, dies, uh, and you just can't buy a cheap battery, put it in there, and you have a very, very functional watch. Um, sometimes they are really nice to wear. Um, it's a very nice watch, actually. It's not a, uh, a cheap, but it's also what I really like is the accuracy of the watch. Um, because you can buy a $20, $30 Timex watch from Walmart or stuff like that, and it's just not going to keep the time here. All right, this is it. Also, I think, uh, I, if I remember well, the one downside is that the, these watches don't have an alarm. You cannot just put to, put it to wake you up every morning uh, at 8 or something. But other than that, uh, just for time, uh, keeping is really, really nice and very accurate. Thanks for watching and thanks for your patience.